We discussed the situation in Romania today. Um, we've been following uh, the situation closely since last week. Uh, I have taken note of the introduction of the emergency ordinance to withdraw 14, to withdraw emergency ordinance 13. I've also taken note of the government saying that they would not pursue the contested legislation. We will continue to follow closely what happens in the Romanian Parliament. And let me be as clear as I was last week in the European Parliament. The Commission on this is colorblind. This is for us not a political discussion. This is not taking sides in internal affairs in Romania. This is about helping Romania complete this very, very long and hard struggle towards ridding itself of institutionalized uh, corruption. And if you look at the recent report on the cooperation verification mechanism, looking back over the last 10 years, especially in the last years, incredible progress was made. And we should all have an interest in making sure that this incredible, incredibly difficult marathon which is in its final meters, would not be changed into the Romanian authorities turning their back towards the finish line and running in the other direction. That would be a huge disservice to something that has been extremely successful over the last couple of years. I have discussed this with uh, the Romanian foreign minister uh, um, earlier this week. Um, we are and remain at the disposal of the Romanian authorities to solve certain issues that they are worried about. Uh, to give you one example, if one of the issues they are worried about is overcrowding in Romanian prisons, we are at the disposal of the Romanian authorities to look for projects that would improve the living conditions in those prisons, that would create a better situation there. So we are very much in a cooperative mood, but we are also very clear uh, on the issue of fighting um, uh, corruption. It should not be relented, should not be gone, going in the other direction. We should continue this fight, which has been successful so far, so that we will reach the point of no return and that the reforms will be irreversible. I think this is what the Romanian people want. This is what they deserve. And we are on their side to make this happen.